All right, section 4.3 is logarithmic functions. So we have something called a logarithm, and it says for all real numbers y and all positive numbers a and x, where a is not the number 1, y is equal to the log base a of x is equivalent to x is equal to a to the power y. The expression log a of x represents the exponent to which the base a must be raised in order to obtain x. Okay, so I'm going to write it like this. The log base a of x is equal to y. This is the same thing as a to the power y is equal to x. Okay, so what I want to notice, what I want you all to notice is that a raised to this power here will give me that number there. Because that's exactly what we have here. a to the power y is going to give me that number x. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's see if we can figure out how to match these problems up. So when I look at the first one, the log base 3 of 81, I'm trying to figure out 3 raised to what power is going to give me 81. So if you can do it this way, you can say, okay, look, 81, break it down. That's 9 and 9. Each of those 9s breaks down into 3 and 3. How many 3s do we have? We have 4. So this one here is going to get matched with 4, okay? Now, let me do the next one. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Log base 3, 1 third, is equal to what? So remember what this is telling me. 3 to what power is going to give me 1 third? Remember, 1 third is the same thing as 1 over 3 to the 1. And 1 over 3 to the 1, you can think about it, it could have been 3 to the power negative 1 with a negative exponent. So what's the answer I'm looking for here? Negative 1. So those are going to match up. Okay, And I'm going to keep playing this game, guys, for every single one. The log base 10 of 0 0.01. Okay, So 0 0.01 is the same thing as 1 over 100. And 1 over 100 is the same thing as 1 over 10 squared. And 1 over 10 squared is the same thing as 10 to the power of negative 2. So this one here would be negative 2, which is right there. Okay. All right. Let's keep going here. The log base 6 of the square root of 6. Okay. So think about the square root of 6. The square root of 6, isn't that the same thing as 6 to the power of 1 half? So the power here is 1 half, so that one's going to get matched up right there, okay? Uh, let's see, the next one is the log base e of 1 is equal to, so remember what I'm trying to figure out, e raised to what power is going to give me 1? Well, any number to the power 0 is going to give me 1 as long as that number isn't 1. So this one here should be 0, so that would be there. And then the last one says the log base 3 of 27 to the power of 3 halves. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do here, 27. 27 I know is the same thing as 3 to the third. And we have this to the 3 halves. So I'm going to multiply my exponents together. That's going to be 3 multiply straight across, that's 9 over 2, okay? So I know it's kind of messy here. I'm going to try to clean this up. So the log base 3 of 27 to the 3 halves is the same thing as the log base 3 of 3 to the power 9 halves. So 3 to what power will give me this? Well, 9 halves. And there is my answer for E. Okay, so that's why, I was, that's why I wanted to do that one section on rules of exponents because you can see I'm using all my rules of exponents in every one of these problems right here, okay? So, <clears throat> for the next part here it says, if the statement is an exponential form, write it as an equivalent logarithmic form, and if the statement is in logarithmic form, write it in exponential form. Okay, so let's see what that means. Let me kind of scooch this way a little bit and bring this down. Oops, here we go. Okay, 
So what we mean by that is if I think of the, that equation, y equals, you know, and I think I had it written the other way around earlier. I think I wrote it like this. Log base a of x is equal to y means the same thing as a to the power y equals x. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say, is this equation here in logarithmic form or is it in exponential form? And we're going to say, well, it's in exponential form because I see exponents. So we're going to write it like this. We're going to write it as a logarithm. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do a little stare and compare. My a is the number 3. My y is the number 4. And my x is the number 81. So now, if I want to write it like this, I'm going to say log base 3 of x, which is 81, is equal to 4. And all I was doing, y'all, is a little stare and compare. Look at this part right here, and look at that part right there. That's how I came up with a is 3, y is 4, x is 81, and then write it like the way I want to write it. Okay. So look, let's do the same thing here. Let's do a little stare and compare. So again, I know this is in my exponential form. So what is my a number? My a number is 2 thirds. Okay. What is my y number? My y number is a negative 3. What's my x number? 27 over 8. So now that I know this part right here, I'm going to write it as a logarithm. So the log base 2 thirds of x, which is 27 over 8, is equal to negative 3. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the next one here. So I'm going to look at this one right here. And I'm going to say, okay, you know what? Now we're in the logarithmic form. So for, we're going to do the same thing we did before. What's my a? My a is my base number, which is 6. What is my x? My x is the number 36. What is my y? My y is the number 2. So now when I'm going to write this as an exponent, I'm going to say a to the power y is equal to x. A is 6, power y is 2, is equal to 36. All I'm trying to do is get comfortable with going from one form to the other. Okay, And the way I'm going to do that, y'all, find A, find X, find Y. What order you find them in is not important, as long as you can find those three things. Okay, So let's do the same thing for this problem right here. What is my a? Look, a is that number down there. A is 2. What is my x? My x is a number 8, because it's this number right here. What is my y? My y is a number 3. Okay. Now I'm going to write it as an exponent. Okay. So we're going to write it in this form here. a to the power y equals x. So 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. That's all I'm trying to do for those problems, right? Okay, <clears throat> so now the next ones here say solve each equation. Okay, how do we solve equations? By using the definition. The log base a of x is equal to y. This means the same thing as a to the power y is equal to x. Okay, so first thing I want you to notice, <clears throat> um, my base number here, a. a is the number 5. Okay. x is the number that's right next to it. The number right next to it, x, is 1 over 625. y is the number here, which I don't know what it is. Okay, We're going to find that value. Okay, so let's see if we can write it in the exponential form. 5 to what power? They're using the letter x in this case. I know we have an x here, so I don't want to get it, get it confused. Is equal to 1 over... 625. I don't know, but I bet you we can figure it out. The first thing we're going to do, let's think about this as 625 to the power negative 1. Okay. Second thing, let's break down that number 625. So 625, I know I can divide it by 5. And it's 5 and 125. 
And I know I can divide it by 5 again, and that's 25 here. And I can divide it by 5 again. So if you notice, I have four of them, right? Okay. So I'm just going to kind of scooch over to the side a little bit because I'm running out of room here. So 5 to the power x is equal to... So we already knew that 625 was 5 to the fourth, but because there's that negative 1, I'm going to write it like this. So now, what is my x equal to? My x is equal to negative 4. Why? These numbers are the same. The base is the same. The exponents have to be the same as well. Okay? I'm going to do that for every single problem that I have, y'all. Okay? So look, let's try to do the same thing here. Let's take a look at this next one. Look at this equation here, and look at this part right here. What is my base number A? I don't know. They're calling it X. That's all right. What is my number X? Oh, it's the number 1 over... 32. Okay. What is my number y? My number y is the number 5. All right. So now I'm going to write it using this form. a, which they're calling x, to the power of y, which they're calling 5, oops, which they're calling 5, is equal to 1 over 32. Okay. So x to the 5. First thing is, let's fix this. Let's make that 32 to the power negative 1. And then let's break down 32. Okay, 32, again, I think of 4 and 8. 4 is 2 and 2. 8 is 2 and 4, but 4 is 2 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's 5 of them, isn't there? So look, x to the 5 is equal to, I'm going to think of this as 2, to the, if there's a negative 1 here, but I had 5, now that's a negative 5, right? Okay, so since these whole expressions are equal to each other, and since my exponents are, uh, oh, they're not equal to each other, that's okay, we'll fix it right now. So let's do this. How about if I say x to the 5th equals 1 over 2 to the 5th, Okay, so now my exponents are equal, and so x has to be the number that's here, so x is going to be the number 1 half. That is my base number, okay? All right, let's see if we can do the same thing for the next one here. So let's do a little stare and compare. Let's look at this right here. We're in the logarithm form. Again, my a, oops, my a is equal to my x part right? My x part, this piece here, is 25, and my y is a negative 2. Okay, so let's see if we can do that again. All right, so I'm trying to write it like this. a to the power y is equal to x. So what did we say a was? We said x. What is my power y? Negative 2 is equal to 25, okay? So, <clears throat> what I'm going to try to do here, I'm going to try to rewrite this equation. So, if x to the negative 2, instead of me writing this as 25, I can write it as 5 squared. And then, x to the power of negative 2, I can rewrite this as, if I take the reciprocal of this, 1 fifth, my exponent now becomes negative. So since the entire expressions are equal to each other and my exponents are equal to each other, then my x has to be this number here. So x is 1 over 5. Okay. All right, I got another one. So again, let me write down the definition again. So I'm just going to write it over here. So remember, log base a of x is equal to y means that a to the power y is equal to x. Okay. Oops. There we go. Okay, so let's see. What is my a in this case? a is the number 4. And x is just x. Good. And y is the number 3. Okay, so I'm going to write out this. a to the power y is equal to x. So a is 4 to the power 3 is equal to x. So 4 to the 3rd means 4 times 4 times 4 is equal to x. That's just going to be 
64. Okay. All right. So let's keep moving along here. We have some properties of logarithms. Okay. Properties of logarithms. So we have the product property, the quotient property, the power property, the logarithm of 1, and the base A logarithm of A. So it says the log base A of xy is the log, bay of, log, log base A of x plus the log base A of y. The log base A of x over y is the log base A of x minus the log base A of y. The log base A of x to the power r is the same thing as r times the log base A of x. Uh, the log base a of 1 is 0 because a raised to any number raised to the power of 0 is always going to give me 1. And think about what this one says. a to the power 1 is going to give me a, okay, which is what the number we had right there. Okay, so let's see if we can apply some of these properties. All right, <clears throat> it says use properties of logarithms to rewrite each expression, simplify the result if possible, assume all variables represent positive real numbers. All right, so I want you to notice here we have a fraction, and a fraction means we are subtracting. So if we're subtracting, we're going to, we're going to, I'm sorry, we're dividing, we're going to subtract. So I'm going to say, I'm going to subtract the numerator, the log base 2 of 6x, minus the log base 2 of y, okay? Now, the next part here is we are multiplying that 6 and that x together. So when I'm multiplying, I'm going to separate them by adding. This is the log base 2 of 6 plus the log base 2 of x minus the log base 2 of y. And we're done. Okay. So let me see if I can do the same thing here. We're going to break this up. So first thing is I am subtracting. I'm sorry, I'm dividing, so I'm going to subtract. So the log base 5 of... 5 squared is 7, minus the log base 5 of 3. Okay. These two here are being multiplied, so I'm going to separate those. The log base 5 of 5 plus the log base 5 of the square root of 7. I'm going to write it as 7 to the power, <coughs> excuse me, 7 to the power of 1 half, minus the log base 5 of 3. Excuse me. So the log base 5 of 5, remember, 5 raised to what power would give me 5? 1. That's just going to come down to a 1. This exponent comes down to the front. So 1 half the log base 5 of 7 minus the log base 5 of 3. And this right here, guys, is my answer. All right, so all we're doing now, we're just going backwards. We're going to put them together. We're going to write it as a single coefficient or a single expression, okay? So first thing I want you to notice, what are we doing with these two here? We're adding. So when we're adding two individual logarithms, it means we're going to multiply what we are taking the logarithms of. So the log base A of xy minus the log base A of m. Now, the next part says, oh, look, I'm subtracting. So if I'm subtracting, what are we doing? We're going to divide this piece by that piece. So xy over m, and here is our single logarithm, right? I want you to notice, guys, and I know I you know, kind of walked through the rules real quickly, but all I'm doing is I'm using these properties right here, okay? So as you're doing these problems, what you're going to do is you're going to come back and you're going to reference these. Again, notice, if they're multiplying, we add. If they're dividing, we subtract. And if I have an exponent, exponent comes down to the front. Okay. So let's take a look at this next one here. Okay. I want you to notice that there is a minus on both of them. So let's write it this way. The log base A of M minus, and let me put this in parentheses the log base A of N plus the log base A of T, since I factored out the negative. 
Now remember, if they're being added, what do we do? We multiply them. So the log base A of M minus the log base A of NT. Okay. And now, since we are subtracting, we're going to divide. Single logarithm, right? The log base A of M over NT. And here is my single logarithm, okay? Okay, so theorems on inverses. It says if you take a to the power of log base a of x, those just cancel out. And if you have the log base a of a of x, those just cancel out, okay? Those are the inverse properties, okay? So, <clears throat> 3 to the log base 3 of 8, these are going to cancel out. X is just going to be equal to 8. Okay. 2 of the log base 2 of 9, these are going to cancel out. X is just going to be equal to 9. Okay. And that is 4.3.